The University of Northampton is one of the newer universities, in fact extremely new, uh, when we talk about post-1992, it's actually post-2000. Uh, but there's always been higher education um, at, at Northampton in one form or another. Um, before the university uh, was established in 2005, uh, the um, campus had been part of the Neen uh, or Nen College, I should say. Um, but yes, so it's a relatively new university, medium-sized, uh, about 20,000 or so students. And in common with a lot of the newer universities, there are quite a number of uh, overseas learners that we have to cater for. The students uh, come largely from China. Um, we have a large Chinese cohort, um, but also we have students from Iraq, um, Indonesia, from India, so quite a cosmopolitan feel to our classes, but yes, a high uh, Chinese profile. Part of the problem that we face is that uh, we have to prepare students in a relatively short time to, uh, well, firstly to improve their language skills, but also to introduce and develop their academic uh, study skills. And in in order for them to become effective undergraduate and postgraduate students. So I think it's this, uh, you know, this period of time between the students receiving an offer and then getting them ready to begin their courses is, is the biggest challenge we face. A lot of the teachers talk about its, its uh, accessibility and, uh, you know, the the, the up-to-date design and things like that, but, but it, it's accessible to students whose, whose level might be slightly lower than um, you know, the, the sort of undergraduate level. And they do find it, I think, uh, useful as a support. From a teaching point of view, I think it's, it's very useful uh, in helping to develop skills such as critical thinking, which students from um, other educational backgrounds may not necessarily have or in the same way uh, as are expected uh, in the UK. I like the layout of the book. The layout is very accessible. Um, it takes the students through a, a learning process, each unit, and there's a thread of um, grammar through the unit so the students can uh, recycle, they can practice a, a particular academic feature. We use a, a variety of sources uh, and, uh, on, on the pre-sessional and the, the uh, emphasis is very much on academic literacy and, and as I say, introducing uh, academic literacies and uh, developing these as far as possible. And uh, I think the, the skills focus of uh, Skillful is extremely useful. I think from a student point of view, particularly with the listening and speaking skills, uh, I think it's, it's, they find it relevant to, to their needs. And I think the teachers particularly appreciate the, the reading, to write, uh, reading and writing uh, focus uh, in terms of, sort of academic writing. In each lesson, I like to try and introduce um, the four skills as far as possible and take the reading and writing uh, course book, for example. Vocabulary, obviously a key part of, of, of reading and, and writing. Um, exercises are, are there, um, and I like to pick those out and use them for, for speaking, um, for paraphrasing, for um, building on collocations, etc. It's, it's a, a, a very well-designed book for you to be able to um, be creative with it. So, yes, you can follow it, from start to finish, or you can um, intersperse it with your own activities that build on um, the foundation that the, the, each unit gives you. So it's a very useful tool as well um, as being a, a complete course in itself.
I think it's it's a very valuable support. Um, I think it is you know it is a, a very sort of attractive book to use. The design is very good. There are also other formats as a digi book and, and things like that, which they, I think it gives them quite a lot of flexibility. And uh, from the, the student perspective as well, I think it does it does give them uh, a very sort of strong support and, and uh, it does help them in supplementing and improving their, their skills, particularly, I think, the, the, the listening, the academic listening. Because it is so well mapped, because it does um, introduce, it, it practices, it revises, it recycles um, the strategies um, throughout um, the, the course. It's a great pleasure to see students improve, yes, and get better at what they do. So. Um, Critical thinking, for example, is, is a thread that runs through the book. And um, to, to start with the students, when, when you first introduce critical thinking, a lot of students have never considered critical thinking. They don't really understand why or how they should do that, um, or they should, they should critically evaluate um, <clears throat> what they read and what they hear. But by the time you've revisited that, um, in the context of each unit, um, a few times, you find that actually they, they are, it's becoming almost second nature to them. So that's been a great pleasure. I think it's helped them to develop a greater awareness of the uh, academic or higher education academic conventions, particularly things like uh, referencing and so on, but, but note-taking from, from uh, listening to lectures and things like that, they find particularly useful. Uh, and uh, in helping to develop strategies for reading uh, and it, 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 it kind of using and exploiting the information that they read in an effective way. For example, we start off with surveying a text, okay? And that's that in, in, in one unit, that's, that's the, the first thing that, that we do um, with this particular task. Um, and maybe we do nothing else with that task but survey it. But then the next time we'll survey and we'll do something else. And so these strategies are revisited and revisited and revisited until they become the norm for the students. It becomes just their habit, their good practice. I would recommend Skillful um, to anybody delivering on an English for Academic Purposes course. It really is a very thorough um, course. It focuses on specific study skills as well. Um, at the end of each unit, um, there is a study skills page, um, which is invaluable really for students who are hoping to go on um, in their academic education. As a support, as a supplement to uh, a, a course, particularly like a pre-sessional course, which I think um, may draw on a number of different sources, but I think uh, teachers would particularly find it useful to, to supplement the work that they're, they're doing, particularly on essay writing um, and academic reading, things like that.